Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Deer Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug? Your new operational name? Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha! You don't have bad luck. Really? Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the Fan Carpet. I think the originality of the film is really what's so unique about it. Right now, everything seems to be sequels and superheroes. And what's so exciting about Bullet Train is it's a big original entertainment, and yet it's really not, it's an original. And that's what's really so exciting about it. I think he's probably the premier action director working in Hollywood today. And Dave has a really an amazing balance of original big screen action and comedy. And you think about something like, you know, what he's done in the past with his films, he's really a, one of those filmmakers that knows what it means to put a movie on the big screen. So it's not a movie you should be seeing at home with this kind of action and the Japanese setting and the movie stars. So I, it's, uh, he's really the right guy to do uh, big event action movies today, no question. I think the thing about Brad is that you don't see him do this very often. And so when he does, and you think back in his career, we worked with him last in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and he was so extraordinary in that film, and or maybe something like Mr. and Mrs. Smith years ago that he did, but this is really Brad doing what you people want to see him do. And, uh, uh, you know, he's also, he doesn't do that much. So when you get Brad, it's pretty exciting. There's some wonderful surprises that we're not going to reveal now you have to see the movie to see it but when we read the script and there were all these wonderful little cameo roles and we started to dream about who we could get the idea that Sandy Bullock or some of the other actors that appear in the film movie stars also all in the same movie was sort of just too delicious to to, to, to ignore I think movies have to be uh, worthy of it seeing in the cinema and big screen entertainment is uh, hard to come by especially one that's not based on pre-existing IP. So I think we're really hoping that people embrace its originality and it's uh, and because it, it isn't yet another sequel and superhero movie and, and that's what makes it special for the summer, certainly. Well, what's interesting about this film in, this film in particular is that Aaron Taylor Johnson, we really was a discovery for us in this film and now he's the lead of one of the most iconic Marvel characters playing Kraven. Uh, so that was a, a, a wonderful thing that we could find this actor who's a perfect craven to be in this film. And of course there'll be more, more Spider-Man and there's the animated Spider-Man coming out. Uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're being careful with these movies and taking our time with them, but uh, contributing to our, our, our world of, you know, our, our Venomverse, if you will, our Spider-Verse. Well, I think there's more stories to tell in the Venomverse. So, and, and uh, we've always had a, a kind of a, uh, a plan for that film that, that, that would involve three different films. So we're on our way on that process. And uh, there's, a, there's a grand plan as well. And it's, uh, it's slowly taking shape. And, and uh, we're excited that each one, as it, as it rolls out, will begin to tell the story a bit more. I mean, Morbius was a fun movie to make because it really was a one-off and where it's its own kind of unique story, this obscure character, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, if you will, and, and, uh, and Jared was, uh, he sort of is a real world vampire in a way, so it felt fitting that he would, that he would play that character. Uh, and the film, you know, has its, uh, it's, it's uh, like every movie, it has its detractors and it has its, and it has its fans. And, but um, we've been quite uh, 
fascinated by the <laughs> the interesting internet reaction to uh, to the film, and we're having a lot of fun. As is Jared with it, as you can probably tell from his uh, relationship with the internet. You know. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more content next time. What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma. Maybe. It's I gotta get off this train. Sorry, buddy. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.